Hey guys, so yesterday was crazy uh, talking about Microsoft and all the Windows stuff because yesterday Windows 10 went end of life, which means no more updates. And because of that, a lot of the people obviously are talking about should we upgrade to Windows 11? How should we do that? And based on that, there are a lot of myths and speculations about this topic. So I did a lot of searching and a lot of Googling and I tried to find like five biggest questions and misunderstanding of whole this process some of those results were pretty much surprising i'm a bit confused that people don't understand these things but nevertheless i wanted to talk about these five myths about upgrading from windows 10 to windows 11 and call cover all of that stuff and give you my insights and the first myth about upgrading to windows 11 is pretty simple people tend to think that if you are having windows 10 then it's just straightforward you just do the upgrade and it's kind of true but you still have to meet the system requirements and with the system requirements it is a little bit different than it was with the previous windows operating system upgrades because that's what we are used to if one operating system dies we just take a deep breath and run the upgrade to the new operating system. And usually there are no like hardware limitations or something we should be worried about. But today, this time, it's not a case because you should be at least careful and worried about uh, about a TPM 2.0, which is a feature that should be supported by your processor. And it, not like it would be something very new that came out like a year or two ago. It's pretty much old feature. and it is still possible that you have a very old computer which might not have TPM 2.0. As example, I did the upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 like six or eight months ago, and initially my CPU did not support TPM 2.0, so I actually had to grab a new one, which results in the same idea for you. Uh, you can download this PC Health Check application, which is going to directly say to you whether or not your computer your hardware is supporting upgrade to Windows 11 or not. And if not, um, well, there are multiple options. You can use different operating systems. You can buy a new computer. You can switch to the Mac. You can switch to the Linux. Or if you have a desktop, you can just purchase some spare used CPU. Uh, if you're looking only for the TPM 2.0, you probably can get something for like 50 or maybe $100. The second speculation is about a performance. Windows 10 is much faster than Windows 11. At least that's what, that's what many people talk about in Reddit and forums and overall uh, computer geek communities. And I think such misconceptions were were and are a thing for, for many years. Every time some new operating system is released, maybe Windows 11, Windows 10, uh, Windows 7, XP, or whatever, there are always these speculations that old one, the existing one, is much fa much faster. Therefore, I don't want to upgrade. And also this time, there's the same conversations and there are also the tests made, which in my personal opinion are pretty much useless. But someone tested, uh, run different benchmarks on a Windows 11, on a Windows 10. And as you can see, results are different in some uh, tests and some benchmarks. Uh, Windows 11 is a little bit faster in some Windows 10 is a little bit faster. There are also some other tests where you can see again that Windows 10 here is quite a bit faster and here Windows 11 is quite a bit faster. But overall result and the general idea remains the same especially if you have up-to-date up hardware some new computer new laptop new desktop trust me new hardware will work better with new up-to-date operating system and since windows 10 is end of life out of updates eventually windows 10 will keep up and give support to all of new hardware while windows 10 will not and even right now today if we talk about those differences yes in the benchmark you can see them in the reality i personally am strongly believing in the fact that you will not feel any difference in a computer speed or how fast it turns on or some fps in the games or how much time it takes for your video to actually render in adobe premiere as example 
um, it's still going to be the same, guys. So if you don't have a super old hardware, that's definitely not something you should be worried about. Myth number three, you are going to lose all of your precious files, including the games, applications, pictures, videos, whatever else you might have on your hard drive, whenever you're going to be running upgrade to the Windows 11. And I believe this scares many people because who would want all of those precious files to end up in the recycle bin? Nobody. And this is one of the confusing concerns uh, because trust me, guys, if we talk about the upgrade and not about a fresh install of Windows 11, which are two completely separate and different things, then during the upgrade, you will not lose any data. Even all of your applications that you were running on a Windows 10, all of your games that you were playing on a Windows 10 are still going to be present whenever you do the upgrade. And no, you will not need to reinstall them or do whatever other magic tricks to get them to work on your Windows 11. All of your applications, all of your games are going to continue to work. All of your pictures, music playlists and videos and movies will still be accessible. I myself did the upgrade from the Windows 10 to 11 like eight months ago. Uh, I did have all my Adobe applications, some games, some other applications, some virtual machines even on a Windows 10. And all of that stuff works out of the box whenever you do the upgrade. But be careful if you do run the clean installation of Windows 11, then yes, you are obviously going to lose everything. Myth number four, Windows 11 does not support older applications or some older peripherals like keyboards, mouses, um, headphones or stuff like that. Well, guys, if, if we talk about something like old as old, five years, even 10 years, there's not going to be problems with uh, moving to the Windows 11. I myself run Adobe Premiere from 2020, so it's uh, almost six years old. Fine, it works. It works amazing. It worked amazing on a Windows 10. It works amazing on a Windows 11. Unless we're talking for some of your grandmother's school projects that she did in the programming and she coded some project for super old operating system that has some dependencies and requirements. Yes, there is a chance that it's not going to work on a Windows 11 whenever you do the operating system upgrade. But that applies to something like super old. And realistically speaking, I don't believe that there's more than zero point something percent of people running some applications on their computers unless they're custom built. I'm talking about something you buy, something you download from company pages. There will not be issues with upgrading to Windows 11. So stop worrying about that. And a myth number five, you must upgrade immediately or you're going to lose uh, security updates for your Windows 10, which is um, it's kind of true. Um, there is an option you can apply for extended security updates, which is a special program that Microsoft offers to Windows 10 users where you have three different options, how you can get extended security updates for additional 12 months. So one year. And first of all, pay attention. We're talking about security updates only no new features no new driver support for some new video cars that are coming out no design changes in your windows no just security updates so making sure that the bad guys the hackers cannot hack your computer because of some windows 10 vulnerabilities and there are three ways how you can apply to that uh first one which is free you just need to share settings configuration of your Windows 10 with a Microsoft. Um, not your pictures, not your games, not your browser activity, um, nothing sensitive, just the settings of the Windows 10. And there is a special form where and how you can actually apply it. There's the Microsoft uh, OneDrive, I believe, which is being used to share this information. That's option number one. Option number two, you can purchase these 12 month extended security updates uh, for 1000, I believe, Microsoft points. But up to this moment, I have no idea how you can actually get them. Uh, my assumption is through buying some stuff from the Microsoft. I don't have them. And an option number three, you can pay $30 to Microsoft to extend your security updates for another year. One time payment. It's going to work. Um, but again, keep in mind, this extends the security updates just for 12 months. So if right now your computer doesn't support TPM 2.0, you can't or you don't want to upgrade and you don't want to make any changes with your hardware and stuff like that, 
Now, this problem is not going to disappear. You will have 12 months of support, which is like one year is a lot. But after those 12 months, you will be back to your original problem. And that time, there won't be any um, any ways how you can avoid that. So if you are really don't have any other options and you want to remain and use Windows 10 and you want to be secure because running Windows 10 outdated Windows 10 without a security updates and being connected to the public internet is not a good idea. Then you can pay those $30 or go with a free option and use that stuff. So hope this list was uh, insightful and maybe in some places also entertaining for you guys. So thank you for watching. Don't forget, forget to smash that like button and we're going to see you in the next videos. Bye bye.